Hey guys, what's up? It's Queenie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you for clicking on this video and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because it is free. And if you are not new, then thank you for coming back to my video or coming back to my channel, sorry. So um, today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be trying a new product. Some of my videos are very educational and very tutorial-ish and then some of them are honestly just for ed entertainment purposes and I just like to try new stuff and talk about them. So if you guys enjoy videos like that, thumbs up this video and let's get into it. So obviously I look like a granny right now because of my headscarf. Today I'm going to be trying a Japanese hair mask. I went to this huge Japanese supermarket like two weeks ago and they had everything, like everything and their beauty section was amazing. I saw this mask and it was honestly quite pricey, it was like I think $30. I was just staring at it because it had this beautiful packaging. You can see it here, but I'll put a picture so you guys can see it better. But this is what it looks like. It's this metallic packaging and it says like premium touch and it's by Shiseido. Shiseido. I forget how you pronounce it, but um, that brand, which is they also make regular like non-Japanese products too. And so obviously this is not targeted towards kinky curly hair, we know this. This is actually a mask for strengthening damaged hair or strengthening weak colored hair. And obviously this is all written in Japanese so I don't know what it said, but luckily I was able to find a blog post about this product and somebody gave me some details about it. So. It says that this is the Shiseido Fino, Fino Premium Touch Hair Mask. It's perfect hair care products for damaged dry hair. By weather changes and UV rays, color perm treated. It is formulated with royal jelly extract to moisturize, PCA to strengthen, and lipidure extract to repair, leaving your hair nourished, shiny, nourished and shiny. Three major effects of moisturizing, strengthening, and repairing transform hair is purely healthy hair from the core. Seven essence ingredients penetrate into the hair and conditions many damaged hair. Seven essence works for moisture penetration, moisture control, strengthening, repair, smoothing surface gloss, and long lasting color. Then it explains how to use it and it says country of origin, Japan. And honestly, the ingredients are quite similar to what you would find at a black <laughs> beauty supply store. Um, the only difference I would say is that the purpose of this product is a little different than what we would go for. It's made with royal jelly extract, which is something that you can actually also find in like beeswax products. So it's just like a petroleum jelly type of thing. Okay, so to put this on, it says after shampooing, which I did, towel dry, dry with towel, which I did, apply an approximate amount of the product, two teaspoons for semi long hair to damage areas and rinse thoroughly. Okay, so my hair has been washed and dried and just put into this. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let me just fluff it out a bit. Okay, so it has been towel dried, so it's somewhat damp, but I'm just going to part my hair into sections. Okay, so I've sectioned off my hair. Um, I'm just gonna scoop a bit of this product, about this much, and I'm gonna start working it in. Um, it feels like, honestly, like Vaseline mixed with something else, I don't know. It feels like a Vaseline and a cream. Honestly though, the way my hair is dry, I feel like I wanna wet it while I do this. Even though they said to towel dry it and then put it in, I feel like the product will just spread a lot better if I wet my hair, because I'll waste a lot of product if my hair is this dry. I'm gonna continue adding it in everywhere. It says to add it to the damaged areas. My hair is not damaged, but it is quite dry because I haven't put any product in it, so we'll see what happens. So as you guys can see, the product isn't very wet. So it's not doing that regular, it's not giving you, you know when I usually put in like a deep conditioner in my hair, my hair stretches, it defines, it looks nice and juicy. Not so much, it just looks like I'm putting like a really sad, sad hair lotion in my hair. I feel like I'm putting quite a bit. She definitely said two t teaspoons, but I don't know what that is when it comes to natural hair. So I'm just going to, you know, help myself and I'm not saying like I recommend this. This is honestly just interesting to see what other products from for different groups of people, like what things that they target. They target clearly, they want shine, 
and strengthening so that's kind of cool whereas we usually want softening moisturizing curl defining things like that so it's just interesting to see okay I think this side has had enough but it did soften my hair enough that it's easier to tie up compared to this side where as you can see it was hard and stiff such an interesting texture it's not soft but when it sits for a second it melts into my hair but it's not like it's not a nice feeling it definitely feels like a hair glaze that's the best way I can describe it it feels like a glaze okay so the instruction says to just put it in and then rinse it out but I'm actually gonna leave it for five minutes because you know my hair does take a little bit to absorb stuff so I feel like to give it a fair chance I should leave it as I would other products and um, I will just come back to it in about five minutes and then we will rinse it out and see what happens All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and go wash my hair, but I just wanna see what it looks like first and what it feels like. So all the product basically absorbed into my hair. It's nice and warm because of the cap. Ooh, it feels very soft. Um, but that's kind of given if you have a bit of humidity, it would be soft anyways. But it feels nice, nothing crazy. I feel like it's probably doing more work on the inside than the outside because it feels soft, it feels like coated and sh like smooth. It has a really, really like slipperiness to it. You know what I mean? So it has a lot of slip and um, that's about it. Yeah, it just feels really smooth. So I'm gonna go wash this out and then we will talk about it in like two minutes. So I'm going to try to describe this the best way I can. My hair does not necessarily feel like I went and did like a deep conditioner, but it doesn't feel like I did nothing. It feels really smooth and it has a weak, like an interesting grip to it. Like, so it makes it feel stronger, I guess. Do you guys know what I mean? If I brush it back, it almost looks as if I have like product in it. That's how smooth it is. You guys see that? I would say the only thing it did was eliminate frizz, give me great slip, and make my hair have like a nice grip to it so it feels kind of strong. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm gonna put my hair into some kind of style so we can continue this conversation without me looking like Einstein. Okay, so I just put my hair up into this little puff, like sleeked back a bit, fixed up my edges, my struggle edges, um yeah so just made it look a little bit more appropriate so we can have a conversation after i have done this i have put no product in my hair and my hair itself feels better than what it would feel if i was just to like shampoo and leave it with no product it doesn't necessarily feel like how it would if i were to use a deep conditioning mask and then not do anything to it but it does feel like there's a little bit of moisture retention going on this look obviously <laughs> no definition um, but it doesn't look straggly. It still looks full and healthy. It's just not defined. But my hair itself feels nice and strong and slippery, but it has like a nice grip to it. Um, and naturally my hair does not have much slip to it. It is very coarse. So I feel like this product actually does what it's supposed to do. Um, the shine aspect, I won't say that I necessarily see much more shine. It does mention it's to work from the inside out. It's to make hair feel stronger and look better. So I will say that it gave me great slip and that's about it. <laughs> and obviously this is not targeted towards my hair type, but I feel like it, I would still finish this off. Like there's half left and I would still use this because I do feel like it is doing something treatment wise. It didn't do what typical natural hair products would do. Duh. But it was an interesting experience and it gave me things that other natural hair products don't usually focus on. So um, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was quite interesting to try something so, so different from what I usually would. And it was cool. It was great. It gave me some cool benefits. And now I know it smells so, so good. It's like a nice, fresh, I washed my hair with an expansive hair mask kind of smell. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this company's products before? Was this a stupid thing for me to do? Honestly, 
nothing bad happened so we're good but let me know what you think what are some interesting products that you have tried recently that you never thought would work for you that do work for you what are some weird things that you have in your hair routine that nobody knows about comment down below let me know what you think thumbs up this video subscribe turn on the notification button so you don't miss any videos and you get notified when I post and of course don't forget to subscribe Follow me on Instagram because why not? You kind of find out what's going on before it actually happens. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.